What time is it, kids? It's Julie time. Na 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 na. Julie time. Na 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 na. Julie time. Na 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 na. All right. I know I was supposed to wear this on May 26th, and I forgot. I thought it was the 25th, and I forgot. But you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this in my car because you know, um, the world's a terrible place. And you gotta put a little sunshine into it. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna put it right over here. And my little red nose. And uh, bring it out every once in a while. Maybe I'll find some other stuff. Look at that woman with the Chewbacca mask. She's now world famous. Um, so, but her friends shared the video. You gotta share. Let's talk about the poor gorilla in the Cincinnati Zoo. The poor gorilla. And let's talk about how easy it is to lose a child. First of all, I posted on my page this morning, go look for it, an article written by a former zookeeper, not from Cincinnati, but a former zookeeper who knows gorillas. And she knows how you've got to be safe with them. And she knows that that was a horrible decision they had to make. And that horrible decision was because a child chose to get close to a gorilla because, because he wanted to be close to a gorilla. Really? Tell me none of you guys, given the opportunity to sit down next to a gorilla, wouldn't take it up. But that was a silverback. Unfortunately, it's not the situation that happened in the Brookfield Zoo where that gorilla, female gorilla, sheltered that boy and took her, took the boy over to where the she knew the zookeepers would come out and wouldn't let the other gorillas around. This wasn't the same thing. This was a male gorilla posturing and quite, without even intending to, could have killed that boy. It's a 400 pound gorilla. So, God rest the soul of that poor gorilla. Now, then there are people who are jumping all over the mother. So I'm going to tell you a story. They, well, all these people are saying she had too many kids with her. She should have known better. The kid said he wanted to go in there. Kids say lots of things. Kids say they're going to the moon. Most of them don't. So, here's the thing. So, we took the twins when they were 18 months old to Door County. We went to a place called The Farm, which is in Sturgeon Bay. So if you get an opportunity to go, I highly recommend it. You get to feed some goats, you get to walk around, you get to see some animals, you get to see some um, old, you know, old uh, farming equipment and stuff. It's pretty cool. And it's not that expensive. So, you know, a family of four or five, six, they, you can afford to go. So it's nice. And the, boy, uh, the twins, we took the twins. So we had Danny and Alex. And Danny and Cheryl were in a barn that had farm equipment. And Alex, who used to point a lot, went because he wanted to see the horse. So Alex and I went over by the horse. A few minutes by the horse, and I turned my head, and there's Danny, the doorway of the barn. Now, he's enough out of the barn that I can see him in the sunlight. I just assume Cheryl's right behind him. He looks at me, he smiles, and he waves. My sweet, innocent little pain in the ass. So I look at him and I wave. Then I turn back because the horse kind of nipped at Alex, not hurting him or anything, but you know, Alex made a noise. So I turn back to Alex. When I turn back again, Danny's gone. A few minutes go by. I don't think anything of it. Cheryl's in the barn with him. A few minutes later, Cheryl comes out of the barn. Where's Danny? And we're across the field from each other. And I'm like, what do you mean, where's Danny? Danny's with you. I have Alex. You have Danny. No, I thought Danny was with you. She saw him come out of the barn, thought he would cross, and it wasn't that big of a field. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, an acre here. We're talking, you know couple hundred feet. I thought 
Good God, buddy. Can we get to highway speeds? I got to get to work. Um, just because you're in your truck and already at work. So anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, the barn. So she said, I thought he was with you. She saw him leave the barn. She thought that he would cross the field and be by me and Alex. No. Danny likes the rabbits. There, are, there was a section where there were rabbits down a hill from where we were. Danny, so we start screaming for him. We can't find him. And, you know, he's 18 months. We don't know where he's going. So all of a sudden this lady's coming towards me and she's got something in her arms. And I'm like, she's running towards me. And I'm like, lady, get out of the way. I can't see it. Danny. And Danny lifts his head off her shoulders. He went back to those rabbits. Now, luckily, the rabbit didn't die. I didn't have to worry about it. But I'm just saying, it is that easy to lose your kids. Now, think about it, people. Think about it. How easy? How many times have you turned around in a mall and been missing one of your kids? How many times have you taken your kids someplace? Amusement park the regular park and turned around and you can't find one of them. It happens, people. Unfortunately, it happened when the little boy was hell-bent on getting himself into a gorilla enclosure. And it ended in tragedy. Personally, well, no, that, that's mean. I'm not going to say anything mean. What I'm saying here is let's not judge this mother. Do I think they're responsible? I think the parents should be responsible. Um, you know, I don't, but I don't know what she said to him. She could have said, you know, it's too dangerous. You can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. We don't know. So as long as she doesn't sue the Cincinnati Zoo, she sues the zoo. I'm changing my mind. I'm reneging on all of this and you can call her any bad name you want. Okay. Because life is just too short. No more, you know. We already have enough stupid people in this world, people. Let's not be some of them. I was going to discuss what facts are and correlation to causation, but I'm running out of time. So, you know what I want you to do today, people? I want you to have a good day. Let's go out there and make the world a better place, all right? Let's mourn the gorilla and let's move on. Let's make sure these things can't happen in the future. See ya.